that my name is Lisa Faciola. I work with the youth, um, ch kids and youth programs at the HAEA. And I wanted to talk to all of you tonight about a um, special initiative that we are doing for the month of October and tell you how you guys can participate. So um, I wanted to introduce all of you, if you aren't already aware, to HAE Youth Advocacy Month. The month of October is dedicated specifically to youth. So, um, but before we get started, I wanted you guys to guess what happens in October. Because when I think about October, some things really quickly come to my mind, like the fall is starting to be here, some pumpkin spice lattes maybe. That's a big thing in October. Halloween. I don't know if you guys think about Halloween in October because sometimes I do. Well, usually it's a big one. And of course, trick or treating. But one of the things that I really think about in October, starting on October 1st, is HAE Youth Advocacy Month. Um, this is a really special um, month dedicated to raising awareness. Um, to young people raising awareness about HAE. And this is an annual event with the goal of inspiring you, young people in the HAE community, to raise awareness about HAE. And we wanted to make a, this a really fun experience for you. So we do know that we have come together worldwide um, and, and think. And we have this wonderful tool in front of us, the internet. So let's use it and let's use it wisely. And that I think is going to be the main philosophy behind the HAE Youth Advocacy Month campaign. And the campaign for October is the Beyond HAE campaign. And this is because we want to see who you are beyond HAE. We all are dealing with major issues when it comes to our health and hereditary angioedema is a major challenge, especially when you're young and growing up and learning to understand your body. But you are so much more than just HAE. And we wanted to use this Beyond HAE campaign to serve as an opportunity for you to share with the HAE community who you are beyond HAE. We've already had some submissions, some Beyond HAE submissions, and I'll go into it in a little in a minute. But essentially, the Beyond HAE campaign is a social media campaign, and we are asking you, patients, caregivers, and other people in our community, um, between under the age of 25, 25 and under, to reach out to us, ask us for this really special Beyond HAE sticker. We'll send it to you right away. And then we want you to take a photo with the sticker, showing us who you are beyond HAE. This is Avery, she loves to ride her bike, and she put her Beyond HAE sticker on her bike. And I thought that was just so cute and special. And here she is showing our community who she is beyond HAE. We have Lucy, who's really into um, speed car racing, and she's very involved in the um, racing community. And so here she is with actually the owners of one of her favorite um, racing companies, and they are, um, she's advocating for HAE in this picture. So she's showing us what she's passionate and interested about beyond HAE. We also have Sonia here. She is a uh, competitive horse rider, and here she is showing us who she is beyond HAE. We also have another one of our community members here who enjoys music and going to concerts, and she wanted to use the Beyond HAE Challenge as an opportunity to um, show this side of what she's interested in. We also have Nikita here who is very into science at his school, so he wanted to show us um, what his passions and his, and his interests are beyond HAE. But this is who we are together beyond HAE. And one of the goals here is, is really to spotlight who our community is and the diverse likes and how incredibly um, talented and special and unique each one of you are. So the goal, what we'd like to do and what our goal is um, at the end of this campaign is to create a huge collage of everyone who submitted their Beyond HAE photos. 
And we can really show who our community is beyond HAE because together we make a family. And I believe that is so true with the HAEA. You know, we are all individuals in a sense, but we are all bound by one thing. And that one thing is hereditary angioedema. And while it's very difficult and, and it pre presents a lot of struggles for each of us in our own lives, um, I think it's important to show each other and, and show this side, um, this incredible unity that we have as a, as a family. Um, so I, I think the next question is, how do you participate in the Beyond HAE Challenge? So I'm here and I have a bunch of these stickers. And if you haven't already received one, I would like for you to email me. And if you haven't received one, you would like to. I, I ask that you shoot me an email um, with your name and mailing address, and it'll be on the next slide on where to send your information to. And I will send you one of these cards that has an outline of the instructions that you see right in front of you. And I'll also send you, excuse me, a sticker. Um, and you can use that sticker in your, um, in your post. So really, we are asking you, our community, to post a photo on social media before October 31st, 2019. And you can post that photo either on Facebook or Instagram. Now the question is, what if you don't use Facebook or Instagram? And maybe you just don't feel comfortable posting anything about HAE on the page, on your page or on your social media. That's okay. If you want to still participate in the, um, in the campaign, in the Beyond HAE campaign and contribute your photo, you can email me your photo anytime um, without having to post it on social media, and we will include you in our large collage at the end of the month. Um, but for those of you who are interested in using social media um, to share your Beyond HAE post, we are um, offering a Visa gift, Visa gift cards to those of you who um, have really popular Instagram posts and Facebook posts, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. But essentially, we want to see your life beyond HAE. We'd like you to follow five instructions. The first instruction is post a photo of yourself doing something you love. Maybe it's an outdoor activity, you doing hanging out at your favorite hangout, cooking your favorite meal. Maybe you have a really exciting hobby. Maybe you like doing arts and crafts. Um, maybe you like just going to the beach. Maybe you have a really cool waterfall that you like to go and sit at. Take a photo of, with you and your Beyond HAE sticker in your favorite place or doing some of the things that you love the most. We ask that you post it to social media using the hashtag Beyond HAE. Now, it's up to you as to how much you want to disclose about HAE in your post. Maybe you don't feel very comfortable talking about HAE, but maybe this is an opportunity for you to tell people about your condition. You can write as little about HAE or as much about HAE in your post as you would like. And I know from what I've seen so far in a lot of the posts, some of our young community members have used this as an opportunity to talk publicly about hereditary angioedema on social media and let their friends who may not know what they're going through um, in on what they, you know, what they do experience on a day-to-day -day life basis and, um, and what hereditary angioedema is. So it's really up to you as to how much or how little you'd like to share. Um, And so a poll just came up and I'm not sure if everyone received the poll, but it asks if you did or did not get your Beyond HAE sticker. So um, feel free to submit that poll, um, but also I'll give you instructions later on on how to, um, how to request a sticker from me. So the third request that we have is if you're posting on Instagram, we want you, we ask that you tag HAEA youth on your post, if it's Instagram. Now, if you're using Facebook, we've heard that some people are running into some issues when they're trying to tag the Hereditary Angioedema Association in their post. So we're gonna be a little lenient on this and we hope that you can tag the Hereditary Angioedema Association, but I know that some people have been running into issues, but you need to make sure to use that Beyond HAE hashtag in your post so that we can find it when we search Facebook for these posts. Now, we also wanna make sure that you include the Beyond HAE sticker somewhere in the photo, as did all of the examples that I just provided to you. 
Um, and we want you to make sure that the words beyond H-A-E are easy to read in your photo. This sticker is going to be the string that strings us all together. So, um, and we also want to make sure that you post the photo on social media before October 31st. Now, if you're really wanting to compete in the challenge um, for the gift card, you may want to consider be posting before October 31st, because I'm going to talk to you about that in just a minute. So there, there is a contest, and when we say it's a challenge, it is a challenge. So we are awarding over $500 in Visa gift cards to the top posts. Now, you may be thinking, ah, oh, you know, I, I don't really have a lot of followers. I, there's no way that I would be able to compete in this. You may want to think twice because you'd be surprised and you really never know. But one thing I want to emphasize is that we're not doing this to win money. We're doing this to show our unity. But we did want to provide a little incentive and make it a little fun for you guys. Um, and so um, we will be awarding the top 10 posts, the top five Instagram posts, and the top five Facebook posts with the most likes. So that doesn't mean the most shares, doesn't mean the most comments. It means the most likes on that post. Now, and for those top 10 people, each of them will receive a $50 Visa gift card. So that's super exciting. Um, and in order to qualify for the Visa gift card, you must be age 25 or under and post the photo on or before October 31st, 2019. And the winners will be announced on social media on Friday, November 8th, and we will contact you via direct message. So um, just we wanted to add a little fun and excitement to the challenge, and, um, and I hope this is a little incentive for all of you to participate. But really, I do want to emphasize that the goals of this, this challenge really are just to show us who you are beyond HAE, whether or not you win the gift card, you know, isn't as big of a deal as showing, you know, participating in the challenge. So I really hope that all of you decide to join us for the Beyond HAE Challenge. And again, you know, <laughs> but let's just remember that there is some incentives going on here and, and I hope that you all use this opportunity to share it with your networks and, and garner some support from your friends and family. And if you need a Beyond HAE sticker, I would encourage you to email your name and mailing address to me. Lisa at HAEA.org, and I will get one to you right away. Um, so uh, I literally, the, as soon as you send me your mailing address, I pop a sticker in an envelope and I put it in the mail right away. So um, it's like lightning. Um, I'll get it out to you as soon as I can so that um, you can get your post up as soon as possible. Um, so, and so for those of you who want a sticker, I will make sure that you're able to get one. Just make sure that you email me um, with your name and current mailing address. But I wanted to talk about other ways that you can get involved because um, Youth Advocacy Month um, is really about celebrating young people who want to become involved with the HAEA or want to be more vocal about their condition. So there's a couple different things that I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest that first you follow us on social media, um, on Instagram, on HAEA Youth. This is a brand new social media page that we created. And this page is actually managed by young people your age. We have a group of seven interns who are managing the social media page, um, the Instagram page. So they are the ones who are designing content. They are all young, either in high school or college and they are designing content, they are um, reaching out to our community to interact with us. And I think that, you know, if you're interested, it's definitely a worthwhile page to follow for HAE Tips and Tricks, um, an opportunity to see other members in our community, learn a little bit about hereditary angioedema, and just get some love on your feed. So, um, but I did want to point out that we're always looking to highlight your stories. And we have a couple different ways that if you'd like, you can be featured on our Instagram page. We are growing every day. And 
we look forward to be able, being able to share your story with our followers. Um, and so what we're doing is we're doing a, a few different um, campaigns and one of them is a caregiver spotlight. So my question is, do you have a caregiver, a family member who really helps you through difficult times? Do you wanna give them a shout out on social media? I encourage you to share with us your caregiver spotlight in a photo, and we would love to give them a shout out on social media, just to show the amazing caregiver community um, who supports us through everything. So, um, so it's, uh, that's one way that you can get involved. Another thing that we're doing on our social media page is we're highlighting your achievements. Did you accomplish something really big and special this year that you'd like to share with us? Was it particularly meaningful for you because of the challenges that you've experienced with HAE? Um, we know that achievements are a huge milestone for us and we wanna celebrate you too. So if you have some major achievements that you've accomplished this year and you wanna share that with our community, please feel free to reach out to us at HAEA Youth to share your achievements so we can feature you on the page. Um, and also, if you're posting on social media and it's anything HAE related, or maybe you just want to post us and when you're doing something fun, uh, tag us when you're doing something fun, feel free to do that. We'd love to tag, have you share your stories um, and, and know when you're thinking about us. So just a few ways to get involved with us on social media, but you can also raise awareness in your community. And there's a lot of different ways to get involved. Um, you can host a fundraising event. You can do a school project about HAE and share it with us. You know, young people are constantly doing school projects. You have to write an essay and sometimes you get the opportunity to choose your own topic. Um, HAE is an excellent topic to, um, to do a school project on because you know it more than anybody firsthand. And, um, and doing a school project on it, if anything, you get the opportunity to share it with your teacher or professor. Um, but, you know, and then if you're able to present it to the class, you're also able to share it with your, um, your peers. So that's always very exciting. You can also order an ER toolkit. And let me just go back to the school project really fast because I know a lot of young people who have done school projects about HAE. And I know that a lot of them were actually really surprised at how kind and accepting and interested their peers were in their assignment. So um, sometimes it can be a little nerve wracking to share something so personal, but I think you might just be surprised at how interested people would be. Um, I'd also like to encourage you to order an ER toolkit. Um, and you can deliver it to your school nurse or local emergency room, and you can do that on our website. So I'll give you a little bit of information about how to do that. But if you're just, just Google H-A-E-E-R toolkit, um, you will find it in just a simple Google search, but you can also go to our website um, and locate the ER toolkit there. And it's free to order, we will mail it out to you. It has all kinds of really cool informative things on it. Um, and I think you would be very happy that you ordered it. And it's also a really wonderful educational resource for your school nurse or your local emergency room or your local fire department, or maybe you're just trying to educate someone about HAE. There's an awesome little educational book in there um, that has tons of information about HAE. And for me, it was just an interesting for me to read. Now, I'd like to share some photos with you so that you can you know, locate, locate us easily on social media. Sorry for the background noise, you guys. Um, and this is our Instagram page. And, um, and on the Instagram page, you can locate us with H-A-E-A -E Youth. And you can see all kinds of tips and tricks, testimonials from um, community members, information about the a Beyond HAE program. You can find vocabulary words to help you learn more about HAE. So it's just a really wonderful resource and I hope that you all visit us, follow and enjoy the content. 
Um, but some other ways, examples of things that you can do to raise awareness about HAE, you can hold a fundraiser or an event with a group you're involved with. Here, Ali Chacon got her sorority involved in an open mic night, and that was something that was really fun for them. They turned it into a fundraiser for HAE um, and in support of Jack, um, Ali's little brother, and it turned out to be a really wonderful event. Um, and all the proceeds went to benefit the HAEA programs and our research. So um, there are little things that you can do where you can harness um, fun events to raise awareness and, um, and funds for HAE. You can also raise awareness at your school or at a local business. This is Carly. Every year she has this really cool fundraiser at her school. So her school is a uniform mandated school. So they all have to wear uniforms. And um, she does this program, this fundraiser, and it's wear jeans for rare jeans. And when people donate a dollar, they get a HAE jeans pass so that they don't have to wear their khakis on a day. And um, she's found that it's been incredibly successful at her school. People really rally behind her. And I think it's quite a special incentive um, if you go to a school where um, it's, it's uh, uniform mandated to have an opportunity to wear jeans one day. So she also does a, does a bake sale and sells baked goods and sells HAE bracelets. So um, Carly's been doing this for years. It's been really successful and she really is passionate about it. She's teamed up with some of her local um, school clubs and gotten them involved. And um, she's very enthusiastic about her wear jeans for rare jeans. But we have, you know, the wear jeans for rare jeans is a fabulous idea. And it doesn't have to just be Carly's idea. Um, and when Lucy over here on the right heard about the wear jeans for rare jeans, she decided to take this idea to her, I believe it was her grandmother's workplace and do a quick little fundraiser there. So she raised awareness about HAE. She encouraged everyone to wear jeans on one specific day. And it was wonderful to see um, this workplace rally in support of Lucy. So um, just because, you know, I, I encourage you guys to get ideas and inspiration from what other people are doing. You don't have to create um, an idea from scratch. But if you want to, it's always great to do that too. But you can also, so what else can you do? You can turn a hobby into a fundraiser or an awareness event. Here we had a group of people who um, enjoy golf and top golf in their community, and they held a top golf fundraiser and made a big deal about it. It was a lot of fun. So one of the easiest things to do is turn your hobby into a fundraiser um, or an awareness event. But always make sure that you send us pictures of your event because we want to share, you know, and inspire other people with what you're doing. Um, here on the left is Abby raising awareness about HAE. She has buttons and bracelets and packets and, and all kinds of goodies that she's using to raise awareness. Now you might be asking, well, where did she get that stuff? That's one of the wonderful things about the HAEA. If you tell us that you want to hold a fundraiser or an awareness event, we will send you all kinds of fun swag to give away at your event um, to help raise awareness. So if you want brochures or postcards about HAE, um, we're happy to send those over to you so that you can share them um, with people who come to your event. Now on the right, we have Michael Ardito. Michael's a swimmer. So he's a swimmer at his school and he decided to join um, or participate in a Boston swim event where he swam the Boston Harbor with his friends to take a bite out of HAE and they called it the HAE shark swim. Um, this was a huge fundraiser. He had a lot of fun. He got his friends involved and they really turned something that they love into an awareness event. So it was just really wonderful. So you can also deliver ER toolkits. Um, and you can do that by um, reaching out to the HAEA through HAEA.org and, and ordering your ER toolkit. Here's Carly on the left with her ER toolkit and, um, and then here's Stephen on the right delivering the ER toolkit to his local fire station. So 
Um, it's always really nice to be able to educate people about HAE and the ER toolkit is a fabulous resource to do that with. So I wanted to open it up to questions from all of you. If you guys have questions about um, the HAE Youth Advocacy Month, um, questions about how to um, raise awareness in your own community. If you have questions about the Beyond HAE campaign, feel free to type it in the chat button and let me know. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear from all of you um, if you have questions about what I've presented today. So feel free to use that chat button on the um, on your screen. It should be at the very bottom, right down there, um, and you should be able to ask me questions or um, or share some of your own personal stories. Um, but if nobody has questions, I do want to encourage those of you who want to participate in HAE Youth Advocacy Month and the Beyond HAE campaign, or if you're interested in holding an event in your community, please reach out to me at Lisa at HAEA.org. Now, I have one more thing that I want to share with you all before we finish up today. Um, I'm going to actually stop my share for just a minute on my screen, and I'm going to move over to um, another special thing that I wanted to share with you. And if you haven't, if you're not already aware, the HAEA launched on October 1st our very first fundraising campaign. So this is our first um, efforts to um, have a very specific fundraising campaign. And the fundraising campaign is dedicated to raising money for the HAEA youth programs. Now, if you have worked with the HAEA youth programs, you know how I think they're pretty awesome. Um, I, I really think that we are significantly impacting young patients and their family members and through a variety of programs. Um, and if you're interested in giving back to those programs and giving back to the HAE, I definitely encourage you to um, join us for this fundraising campaign and donate as little or as much as you'd like. Now, you can locate the fundraising campaign by visiting our, our website, haea.org, and you can see this Families for HAE little blue button here. You can click on that button and it'll take you directly to our crowdfunding page. We just started this campaign a couple days ago, um, and you can read all about it. If you're interested in donating, you can click the donate button. Um, but one of the very special things about the campaign is that we are offering, j just because you donate, if you donate $20 or more, we're gonna send you one of these really fun, trendy Pura Vida bracelets. We've been wanting to partner with Pura Vida for quite some time. They have a really special program that allowed us to do this. So we want to reach out to you and ask you to help us reach our goal um, by November 30th. And just to thank you for your support, we'll send you one of these wonderful Pura Vida bracelets for your donation. You can visit the donation page and read a little bit more about the campaign if you'd like. Um, but um, uh, so I invite all of you to join and participate if you'd like. But, um, the main priority is HAE Youth Advocacy Month, and I really want to encourage all of you to be as excited as I am. Once the posts start coming in, we'll start sharing your Beyond HAE posts with our community, um, and I just get so excited. I have notifications on my phone every time someone tags a Beyond HAE post, so I get super excited. Every time I see your posts come in, I get notified right away, and I just love seeing who you are beyond HAE. So I'd like to thank all of you for joining us tonight. It's really been wonderful. Um, and I hope to see your beyond HAE posts in the next month. Um, thank you again for all of you for joining us this evening. I hope you have a wonderful night.